to my channel. This is Stephanie Nicole H. And today I'm bringing you a recipe. I'm gonna be showing you how I make my muscatelli. So stay tuned. So here I have all my ingredients. You'll need one egg, Monterey Jack cheese, ground beef, ground turkey or ground Italian sausage, Italian style blended cheese, ricotta cheese, cottage cheese, diced tomatoes, minced garlic, pasta sauce, olive oil, and here I am using rigatoni pasta. So for my seasonings, I'm using black pepper, Italian seasoning, salt, Creole seasoning, nonstick cooking spray, sugar, smoked paprika, and garlic powder. So in my skillet over medium heat, I'm just adding about two tablespoons of olive oil and then I'm going to add about three teaspoons of minced garlic I really like garlic and just saute that until it's fragrant also during this time you can go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 so now I'm just gonna add my ground beef to the garlic and break that up into small pieces and again, like I say, you can substitute the ground beef for ground turkey or ground Italian sausage. This is one of my favorite dishes to make and my father-in-law raves about it every single time I make it. So while my meat is browning, I'm gonna go ahead and season it. So I'm starting off with the Creole seasoning. Now I'm just gonna add some garlic powder And now I'm adding my black pepper. So I'm continuing to brown my meat, just mixing all those seasonings in and continuing to break the meat up into small pieces. So that meat is continuing to brown. Once it's completed, you'll want to make sure that you drain off the grease from the meat. Now go ahead and add your drained can of diced tomatoes and combine it with your meat mixture. So I'm letting this simmer a little bit and then I am going to add my pasta sauce. And I just added a little bit of water to my pasta jar so I could get all the sauce out. And now I'm just gonna mix all that together until it's well combined. So even though I already seasoned my meat, I wanna season everything all together. So here I am adding the same seasonings, Creole seasoning, garlic powder, pepper, and salt. And here I am adding about a tablespoon of sugar just to cut out the acidity. So while I was making my sauce, I had my water boiling for my pasta, which is lightly salted. And here I am adding my pasta. I'm using rigatoni pasta, but you can always use pinye or muscatelli noodles. So 
So while my pasta is cooking, I wanted to go ahead and make my cheese mixture, which will be about a cup of ricotta cheese. And now I'm adding about a cup of cottage cheese, small curds. I'm just adding one egg. So now I'm gonna season my cheese mixture with pepper, salt, and Italian seasoning. And I'm just gonna mix this all together until it's combined. So my pasta was done cooking in about 11 to 13 minutes and you'll want to drain out all of the water so now I'm just adding my pasta to my meat sauce and mixing it together until it's combined. So I'm using my Copper Chef Pan, which is non-stick but I'm just gonna spray it down with cooking spray anyway now I'm just going to layer my pasta and the cheese mixture so you start with a layer of pasta then the cheese mixture and then continue until the ingredients run out baked muscacholi is a staple here in st. Louis and everyone makes it their own different way, but I just wanted to show you all how I make mine. So you want to make sure that the pasta is going to be your last layer up top. Now that you're done layering, I'm just going to add my Italian cheese blend. And now I'm adding my Monterey Jack cheese. So when I'm done with the cheese, I like to sprinkle a little bit of smoked paprika on top. So now my muscacholi is ready for the oven. I am going to bake it for 45 minutes covered and an additional 10 minutes uncovered. 
So these are the results. Super cheesy. I promise you guys, this is a hit every single time for birthdays, barbecues, graduations. And this will be a perfect dish for Father's Day, which is coming up. All right, so that's it, guys. I'm going to put the recipe down in the description box below. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. I'm <laughs>